you're injured here in Houston, call Smith & Hassler. There's never a fee unless you win. Live, no wait weather and traffic on CW39 Houston. Hello and happy Tuesday, everybody. All y'all are so just so close. You're so sweet. <laughs> I know. Based on that, what? It's a, yeah, well, I can't. There's oh, a little wait, partition on, right on. here. I mean, I could go like, "Hi, everybody. How you doing?" Right in the middle. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> it's all good. But hey, it's a Tuesday. Try to bring a smile on your face because this is like we always call Tuesday what um, Monday's stepsister. Yeah, Monday's ugly stepsister. Ugly. Oh, <laughs> you, ugly. you know, every you know, gotta love everything a little bit. Do we love the roads this morning? Actually, no. No. We don't. What's going um, on? So we, <laughs> we do have an accident on our hands. Um, mm -hmm. I-10, it's inbound, uh, right at, in, at Greg. So mm -hmm. that's right in the downtown area. And we have multiple lanes shut down right now. Oh, gosh. So that is going to cause for some big problems if you plan on leaving the house anytime soon, traveling into Houston this gotcha. morning. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, at least we don't have to worry about weather just yet. Just yet. We do have the chance for rain in the forecast today. Mm -hmm. So we have to kiss our beautiful <laughs> afternoons <laughs> goodbye. I know. But I, I stepped out. Outside. Oops, I dropped stuff. See, that's the reaction. For, that's there we a go. Tuesday for you, people. That, that is why happen. we call it Monday's Ugly Sister. There you go. <laughs> Things have fall. Let's get to weather this morning because I stepped outside. I had my big puffy jacket on, and then I'm like, wait a second. I might not actually need this. It is significantly warmer out there right now. Uh, we have some spots that, that are anywhere between uh, 5 to 10, even 13 degrees warmer now compared to this time yesterday off in Conroe, Wharton 10 degrees warmer. Victoria, check that out. 16 degrees warmer now compared to yesterday. It's going to be another warm afternoon. We see our forecasted temperatures warming up to mid 70s by the afternoon. That rainfall not a problem now, like Sharon mentioned, but that is not going to be the case as we head into um, later on, more so tonight rather than throughout the day. Our rain chances do remain relatively low throughout the rest of our Tuesday, peaking as we head into our Wednesday time frame looks to be during the morning now, so the tomorrow morning's commute could be more of an issue than today. Now let's get to our issues on the roadways. As of this morning, we do have an accident that we are tracking. I-10 East at Greg, multiple lanes closed down. This does involve a heavy truck. Two vehicles involved in this crash, your right shoulder, your right lane, as well as two of your center lanes are currently shut down. I-10 eastbound at 69 East Tex. So um, not a good sight to see. We hate starting off our mornings this way, uh, but I'll let you know whenever this clears and uh, we'll take another look at that forecast coming up. Well, we have stories to follow for you this morning, including an overnight double shooting that left one man dead and another recovering in North Houston. Police say they found a man dead on North Vista Drive shortly before 2 a.m. this morning. Another gunshot victim was believed to be taken to the hospital before police arrived. Homicide detectives are working to find out the cause of the shooting, but for now, this investigation is ongoing. A suspect is facing capital charges for a fatal shooting of a man in South Houston. Jose Luis Vargas is charged with murder in the 351st State District Court. The incident happened on Sunday before 5 in the morning. Officers responding to a shooting at the RV park near Sage Down Lane and Gulf Freeway found a witness in possession of a gun the witness had taken from the shooter. Detectives learned the victim, witness, and Vargas were drinking together when a physical altercation between the witness and the victim began. The altercation had been resolved and the witness was about to walk away when Vargas fired at least one shot, striking the victim. The witness took the gun from Vargas and called police. Paramedics pronounced the victim dead at the scene. Charges have been filed against three teenage suspects behind an officer-involved shooting on Westheimer Road last week. You may remember this. We talked about it. Both 18-year-olds are John Nesguera and Momamadu Salim, along with 17-year-old Mohammed Rashid Robinson. They have been charged with aggravated assault against a peace officer. This after Seguera actually pointed a gun at an officer last week after being caught in the middle of a robbery. He was then shot by an officer and injured. Robinson and Sela also are charged with robbery by threats. A former detention officer at the Harris County Jail was indicted and charged with felony manslaughter. The indictment was handed down Thursday against 28-year-old Eric Niles Morales in the February 2021 death of a jail inmate. 
Now, Morales is charged in the death of 23-year-old Shakiri Simmons after he was found unconscious in his cell during Winter Storm Uri back in February 2021. 11 other detention officers were fired and six suspended during the investigation. Morales is the only one charged in the death of the inmate. His bail was set in court yesterday at $100,000. Well, a Houston mother is devastated, demanding answers after learning her six-year-old son was repeatedly sexually assaulted for months riding his school bus. The mother of the Aldine ISD student found the assault was caught on tape after she requested footage to find her son's missing backpack. The incident has sparked outrage from the community leaders as Miss Monroe was not notified of her son's prolonged abuse until it got too far. City against Quanoel X, along with other city leaders, held a press conference yesterday calling for justice and to demand answers. Governor Greg Abbott has laid out an unprecedented and controversial plan to ban social media app TikTok. The ban would extend to all state government issued devices and government issued networks. Our state capital correspondent Ryan Chandler is in Austin with more on the TikTok ban. Governor Greg Abbott pushing farther against TikTok. In December, he banned the app on all state-issued devices. Now he's directing state agencies to ban the app on personal phones for state employees and contractors. This stuff can be incredibly dangerous to be shared with parties who you don't even know who they are. Dr. Art Conklin directs the Center for Information Security Research at the University of Houston, which already removed TikTok from school devices in December. He says TikTok can see so much more of your phone than you may realize. And I'm not going to just pick on China. I'm going to pick any third party right now listening to this Zoom call and watching us. That's the type of stuff that the governor here is talking about because we know they're watching. We know they're looking at it. Meanwhile, federal lawmakers want to go farther. This would ban a TikTok from the entire country. Texas Congressman Mike McCall says his House Foreign Affairs Committee will consider allowing President Biden to ban TikTok on all American Wi-Fi. Now, you've seen this locally at the University of Texas. Uh, they have banned TikTok on Wi-Fi. Uh, Texas A&M, they've done the same thing because I think they understand the risk that it poses to our, our children. But for now, Governor Abbott's plan for a statewide ban will impact only about 330,000 state employees. If he doesn't want other people spying on our government's actions as a government employee, things like that, you got to ask, do I want them spying on my personal one? Waking up a little bit warmer today compared to yesterday. Temperatures are already in those upper 60s out along the coastline. A very mild start to our day. Galveston sitting at 64, Angleton 68. For us here in Houston, right at that 60 degree mark, we are going to warm up very similar to where we were yesterday afternoon. It felt almost summer like out there with those abnormally warm temperatures averaging about 10 degrees warmer than normal for this time of year. It's going to be another breezy day with those winds surging out of the south close to 30 miles per hour both at the bush and the hobby airport yesterday we recorded 29 mile per hour wind gusts so another you could say annoyingly breezy day today if you have any outdoor plans for the afternoon walking your dog uh, trying to rake up some leaves just expect uh, those winds to be gusty all throughout our day now as we look at our severe outlook today there is a level one out of five a severe threat uh, with some showers and thunderstorms that are going to be developing mainly out to our west. As they approach 45 here, we see the um, weakening trend begin to occur uh, for today with a lot of those storms mainly south of I-10. And then as we head into tomorrow, we see that uh, severe outlook extended into uh, portions of eastern Texas and then a big portion of Louisiana where they're encompassed by that slight risk, which is a level two out of five. Rainfall for today will be on the lower end. It's more so tonight and into tomorrow morning where those uh, stronger thunderstorms uh, will likely occur. And that's mainly going to be to the north of I-10. As we look at um, our Tuesday morning here, we do see a lot of green, but a lot of this not really going to reach the ground. If it does, it's going to be very light in nature. We can see a line developing from Waco uh, northward starting around 7 p.m. tonight um, that begins to uh, become a bit broken up throughout the morning time. But nonetheless, 
Still expect that morning drive to be a little soggy for tomorrow. This is Wednesday 5 a.m. 7 a.m. Still tracking those showers and storms throughout the area going into Wednesday 10 a.m. We are still not completely done with although our severe threat looks to for the most part uh, disintegrate for our area. But then as we head into the afternoon, that's whenever Louisiana needs to be careful for a few strong storms developing um, throughout their region. At the time we hit the nighttime hours, things finally clear up that cloud cover goes away and then that cooler air will begin to funnel in to our region as we approach um our Thursday will be dealing with some cooler conditions by that time as well. Now let's go ahead and get to traffic here this morning because we do still have that major accident that we are tracking along I-10 East at Greg. Our Houston Transtar camera is showing this very well. That it's not a place that you want to be um, as of this morning. We have multiple lanes shut down because of a heavy truck involved accident. Your right shoulder, your right lane, as well as two of your center lanes are uh, completely shut down because of this accident at um, I-10 East and uh, 69 East Tex. Let's get to a couple of your drive times because for the most part, most of us are still in the green. Pinnock to downtown, 24 minutes. Townsend to downtown, 16 minutes. And William Strays Boulevard to downtown Houston, a 16 minute drive. You're watching CW39 Houston, no wait, weather and traffic.